In one of my previous videos, I discussed how Norway's Consumer Council, or the NCC, reported four major game publishers in the gaming industry for violating European consumer laws. The laws in question revolve around what's known as the right of withdrawal, which basically stipulates that consumers should be able to cancel a pre-order or get a refund for a product that they're not satisfied with or that they might have accidentally bought within 14 days the purchase is made after a product launches. The specific companies that the NCC called out were EA, Sony, Nintendo, and Valve, or more specifically their respective digital services, Origin, PlayStation Store, eShop, and Steam. Now, Origin, PS Store, and Steam do actually offer a wide variety of refund options, and pre-orders can be cancelled at any time. However, they don't ask consumers express consent to acknowledge that under certain conditions, whether it's playing a digital purchase for a set amount of time, launching it, or even down downloading it, they lose their right of withdrawal. So one solution for them would be to have a pop-up message appear before any digital purchase outlining these conditions very clearly and having customers check a box confirming that they agree with a publisher's purchase cancellation or refund policy. Now, when it comes to Nintendo and their eShop service, it's a whole other ball game, as once you order something from the eShop, that purchase is final. As stated in their purchase terms, quote, except as authorized by Nintendo or as required by applicable law, all product purchases, including pre-purchases, are final and non-refundable and products may not be returned or exchanged. In other words, if you pre-order something from the service, there is no way to cancel that pre-order, and after any purchases, there are no conditions that will allow players to return them and get a refund, which is a big no-no for Norway and European consumer laws. So it is mainly Nintendo that the NCC has a major problem with, and understandably so, not allowing people to change their minds regarding pre-orders, or not allowing any leeway in returning products that one might not be satisfied with, or that one might have accidentally purchased is as anti-consumer as you can get. Shortly after the NCC issued the complaint, Nintendo actually responded back via a letter. The following information comes from website pressfire.no. The article is in Norwegian, but fortunately a Reddit user managed to provide some bullet points translating the relevant information. The website apparently obtained the letter that Nintendo sent to the NCC in response to their various claims. The main argument that Nintendo makes is that once a digital game is purchased and preloaded onto a game console, at that point the product's use can be considered to have begun, but the NCC retorted by rightfully stating that a preloaded game cannot be deemed as having been used or launched because in that state it literally cannot be used or played in any way. And according to European law, you cannot prohibit consumers from cancelling or withdrawing from a digital content contract before the launch and delivery of a product. Nintendo argued back by stating in their letter, quote, The legal position expressed by the council that the right to withdraw cannot be excluded before the purchase game can be downloaded and launched is, from a legal point of view, untenable. Not only is the notion that preloaded games can be considered a product in use pure bullshit, the thing that makes this so insidious is how there's no option for players to hold off on preloading or downloading a game after an eShop purchase. Any games you buy in the eShop, whether before or after launch, will immediately begin to download without prompt. In other words, the eShop is set up in such a way that the second you finalize a purchase, you are immediately locked under conditions that exempt you from your right of withdrawal. As a test, the NCC pre-ordered a game and then immediately tried to cancel that order and get a refund through official channels, but Nintendo flat out refused. If that purchase had hypothetically been made by mistake, or if the user had changed their mind after some circumstances changed, too bad. They would have been stuck with the unintended purchase while Nintendo gets to run off with the money. Here's the real kicker though. One last excerpt from Nintendo's letter reads as follows. At any time, users have the choice whether they wish to pre-order a game in Nintendo eShop or whether they wish to purchase the game after its release. It is ultimately each user's decision whether they choose to pre-order a game or not. Wow, what a dumb argument. Yes, Nintendo, it is ultimately our decision whether we want to pre-order a game or not, but if you want to talk about choice, then it should be our choice to decide whether we want to cancel a pre-order or return a product before we've had a chance to use it. 
As the NCC aptly pointed out, a preloaded game cannot be considered to be a fully delivered product whose use has begun in its useless state. Similarly, if I hypothetically pre-order a physical game from Amazon, they can't just send me the cartridge's casing without the chip and game inside before launch, claim that the product is technically delivered, and lock me out of being able to cancel my pre-order. That's ludicrous. Not to mention that you, Nintendo, aren't giving us any choice in holding off on preloading our games. The second we hand out cash, the eShop immediately forces buyers into the conditions that would make them exempt from their right of withdrawal under Nintendo's terms. Nintendo talks about choice, and yet they offer no choice at all, no safety cushion for consumers to fall back on for their eShop orders. A purchase becomes this sort of eternal contract with zero leeway. I don't have to tell you that this is plain and simply not right. There are laws and regulations against this kind of practice for a reason. You can't just run off with someone else's money before giving them every component of what they paid for and deny them the flexibility to change their mind if circumstances change. That would just open up the doors to all kinds of trickery and shady malpractices. Look, I generally quite like Nintendo, namely due to the fact that their flagship games are always so damn excellent. I truly do love the company's focus on quality and creativity. But some of their decisions really just boggle the mind, whether it's their highly controversial Nintendo Creators program or the recently criticized anti-consumer purchase policies for their eShop service. Whether you're a Nintendo fan or not, I think this stuff needs to be called out, and it's good to see that countries like Norway are taking the initiative to ensure that game companies are following consumer protection guidelines, especially when they're giving such flimsy justifications for crap like this. Nintendo, there is only so long you can resist consumer laws of an entire region, so please just do us all a favor and yield. Take the legal and moral high ground and change your refund policy so that customers can have sensible leeway and choice in how they handle their eShop orders. Or face the established laws head on, inevitably lose with your inadequate arguments, face legal repercussions, and make yourself look like a damn fool along the way. Your choice. With that, I would like to end this news update. Thank you for tuning in. If you enjoy my content, consider supporting me on Patreon. It is completely optional, but donating even as little as a dollar a month will go a long way in helping this channel grow. And to be further updated on all things gaming news, reviews, and discussions, stay tuned right here on Yong Yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Yong out.